know how deep the ocean is? It's deeper than your mom's? Love for you. I'm kidding, man. She actually loves you a lot. Not my mom, though. She abandoned me when I was young. Anyway, the ocean is so scary, it's like its own world full of aliens. So, what will we find in the deep, dark depths of the ocean? And since we really only discovered about 10% of the ocean, there's no telling what we're going to find. In fact, we know more about Mars than we do about the ocean. But not Uranus, though. I bet the ocean isn't as deep as a Pringles can when you stick your hand in trying to find the last chip. Subscribe if you like Pringles. Like if you don't like Pringles. So fun fact, from zero to 200 meters, this is called the twilight zone in the ocean. This is the most well-lit part of the ocean. After that, it starts getting dark pretty fast too. So the Lusitania sank around Ireland and 1,200 people died. It kind of looked like that Titanic though, didn't it? Hey look, the Statue of Liberty likes to swim too. Whoa, man, check out that blue whale. You better run fast if you see the bloop though. The North Sea, 95 meters. So that's about 300 feet. Bro, I hate meters. Why does everything have to be in meters all the time? Speak English, bro. No! Oh wow, I didn't know Lake Superior was that deep. Note to self, no swimming in Lake Superior. The Yellow Sea, is it yellow though? I guess it's from all the people not yeah. getting out when they need to use the bathroom like your public pool. So why is it yellow though? Hey guys, I Googled it and I found out that it's yellow from all the sand nearby. I still don't think that's why though. Okay, wow, the Caspian Sea is 211 meters. Almost 700 feet, bro. It's the largest body of water inland, I know that. So now we're in the twilight zone, and all the way down to 1,000 meters is considered the twilight zone. At 1,000 meters, this is where we find this freaky looking frill shark thing. Look at that, it kinda looks like your little brother. The USS George Washington. This is the first nuclear submarine to reach 700 feet deep. Hey, there's the Eiffel Tower. Man, that building is huge, 1,000 feet high. Hey. What do the Eiffel Tower and tapeworms have in common? They're both parasites. Get it? So the deepest a scuba diver ever went was 332 meters, which is almost the height of the Eiffel Tower. That dude had to train four years to get ready for that dive. I can't even hold my breath for 30 seconds underwater. Comment how long you can hold your breath underwater, and no lying either. Oh wait, Lake Superior got even deeper as we played the video. Someone must be digging a China too. The Ballistic Sea and the Red Sea are pretty deep. I didn't really, 1,600 feet deep for those? Hey, there's an oil platform that deep? 1,800 feet deep. And the ocean creatures at this level get pretty freaky too. Like the Viper Fish, the Black Sea Devil, and your Typhoon subclasses were the largest ever built, and the Russians built those. Hey, the comrades actually got something right for once. There's the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. It looks like a little stick in the ocean. Man, I'm scared of heights. I'm never going in that building. Especially if it's sitting in the ocean too, bro. The building has actually been struck by lightning tens of thousands of times. Quite shocking, isn't it? At around 3,000 feet deep, which is 914 meters, this creature was captured on camera from an oil rig. At first, it looked like some unknown creature in the ocean, but it's just a whale. Whales can actually go down to like 3,000 meters, so this is nothing for them really. Okay, here we go. Below 1,000 meters, now this is the midnight zone and there's no light after this depth. And it starts getting pretty cold too. So the cameraman's starting to yeet down little arrows to show us the average depths of the ocean and of the Argentina and the Arctic Ocean. Okay, cool cameraman. Oh wait, we can't forget about the Black Sea. At 1200 meters, this is the depth of the great white shark. They can't go any more than that because it gets really cold and great whites don't like cold water. At 1200 meters deep, this scary looking alien creature was caught on a deep sea camera. This thing is called a magna pinna, also called a big fin squid. Now just imagine, we haven't even gone very deep in the ocean and we're already seeing alien type creatures. Whoa, 1500 meters. Now that's got deep quick. Lake Bakai, this is the Earth's deepest lake in Russia. So the Labrador Sea, that's the massive body of water in the North Atlantic Ocean. That's where minke whales like to hang out. And minke whales make this crazy sound. The Grand Canyon can actually fit in the ocean at this point. The Caribbean Sea is the second largest sea on Earth. So the Black Sea and Argentina Sea depths are only halfway through the midnight zone. Hey, check out that oil pipe. Imagine if you were swimming in the ocean and you ran into that thing. Bro, if a blue whale swimming and hits that with his head, will it make a ding sound? Oh look, check it out. The cameraman's shooting some arrows down again. The Bay of Bengal, the world's largest bay. And the Red Sea, 3,000 meters deep. That's almost 10,000 feet at this point. Close to two miles. To North Sea, I honestly have no idea what that is. I guess deeper than I'll ever go, so it doesn't matter. The Southern Ocean has to be in the South, I guess. The Atlantic Ocean goes to about 3,645 meters. Gosh, this is deep. And the Titanic is below that. Let that sink in, bro. No pun intended. 
What's even nuts? We're not even halfway through this yet. Once we hit 4,000 meters, this is the abyssal zone. It gets pitch black down there. The Dumbo octopus actually lives here. Wow, the Pacific Ocean average depth is 4,280 meters. That's 14,000 feet deep. And at this point, if you were to be in the ocean, your lungs would clap instantly and you would basically implode from the inside. And we still have a bit to go before we even touch the bottom. It's like an entire different world down here. The Arctic Ocean is that deep? That's just insane, dude. Like me. Oh, here we go. Getting seriously deep now. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the USS Johnson. It's way down there, man. So the Eiffel Tower, you wouldn't even notice it down this deep. Okay, so now we're getting in the Hadal Zone. This is like below 6,000 meters. And it gets its name from the Greek god Hades, which basically means hell. Makes sense to it how deep we're going. Okay, the pressure down here is so great, it basically squished you instantly like a bug. This makes sense that we don't know much about the ocean. There's so much left to discover in the ocean, maybe we'll find things we never found, like the Megalodon, the Bloop, your dad. I'm kidding, guys. None of those things actually exist. The Megalodon was actually in shallow waters where it was warmer. They didn't like cold ocean. It's too freezing this deep. Mount Everest would fit in the ocean with no problem. Dude, Mount Everest is tall. But look, not even close to how deep the ocean is. Look, check it out. 11,000 meters. This is the deepest point of what we know of. This is where the Challenger Deep is and the Mariana Trench. At this depth, you could stack 30 Empire State Buildings on top of each other. The pressure at this depth is so great from like 15,000 to 16,000 PSI. That's like having 50 jumbo jets sit on you at one time. Even though we've been searching and scanning and mapping the entire ocean floor, I personally think we're gonna find even crazier and scarier things than we've ever seen before. We have so much left to discover in ocean, I'm a little bit excited and a lot scared. Some of these creatures found in the deep depths of the oceans are sea cucumbers, the snailfish, the bear alive fish, the telescope octopus, and even zombie worms. But that's not the only thing we found in the Mariana Trench. This is one of the most polluted areas of the ocean. Human trash, which includes plastic, is found here. What makes it even worse, they've actually found nuclear waste in the Mariana Trench. And it's actually being discussed around the world that they should start using the Mariana Trench for a nuclear disposal waste site. Huh? Isn't that just like humans, bro? Just because we aren't directly affected, we go and destroy the habitats of other animals. That's why so many animals go extinct. So if you see these freaky looking mutant animals come from the deep dark depths of the oceans, then you know why, bro. What's really freaky about the Mariana Trench is the sounds they've ever recorded. Check this out. Scientists still don't know what caused that sound. Maybe it was something crazy like Cthulhu, the Kraken, the Bloop, your mom. All right, speaking of moms, look at me now, mom. I'm famous. Actually, I'm not, but you guys actually stayed to the end of this video and I do appreciate it. So welcome to the fam. This animation was actually provided by Metal Ball Studios, so it's really cool. Make sure you go check out that stuff, but not before you check out this video or this video first since I made it for you. But hey guys, I got one more question. You ready to go swimming? <laughs>